The team will track particles in the air using laser beams and a high sensitivity camera. As small as 0.1 micrometers wide. Sneezing. We can see a large droplet, about one millimeter in diameter. It quickly falls. We can see small particles that seem to glitter floating through the air. Let's take a look from a different angle. They're small and light. You can see them drifting through the air. These are micro droplets. We ran the same experiment on a close range conversation. People generate a lot of micro droplets when they talk loudly. The droplets between these two stay where they are. They don't drift away. The risk of infection through micro droplets becomes even greater in a closed space with poor ventilation. This lab is simulating the movement of micro droplets in an airtight room. <coughs> a person coughs once and spreads about 100,000 droplets. Large droplets are shown in blue and green. Most of these fall to the ground within one minute. But the micro droplets shown in red continue to drift. <coughs> this simulation uses only micro droplets. Five minutes later, ten minutes later, twenty minutes later, the micro droplets are still floating in place. But there is a way to prevent this stagnation of micro droplets. Circulation is believed to be effective. When you open a window, micro droplets are quickly swept away. They're very small and light, so any airflow will get rid of them. できればですね、2箇所開けて風の流れを作ってあげるということが大事。それが1時間に1回でもいいから、そういうようなことをやることによって感染のリスクというのはかなり下げることができるようになるんじゃないかなというふうに思います。